Teachers undergo extensive training to be safe and trustworthy adults around kids. But when left to their own devices outside of school, some act worse than a kid on summer break. It's really nice of a teacher. Oh, let me go! Have you had any alcohol? I have not been drinking. Put your feet in. Ow! 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 Knock it off! Today, Detective Dell will take us through five cases that demonstrate that sometimes even teachers need to be placed in detention. I don't judge people's off-duty antics, but teachers are supposed to teach respect and lawful behavior. So watching them break the rules like a rebellious teen is more than a little ironic. Stop. Come on. For me! You're making this way worse. Stop. Stop. Let go. On June 6, 2023, Florida officers were dispatched to a local brewery regarding a disturbance at a school's end-of-year staff party. When they arrived, they were met with a vengeful ex-teacher ready to punch a truck or two. Hi. Thank you, babe. Jesus Christ. Thank you. You turn us around. Do you know her? Yes. So I'm the assistant principal. Um, we're here having our end-of-year celebration. Um, one of our other assistant principals was her supervisor and she had to let her go this year and so when she saw her she started got very upset started punching her truck saying she wanted to kill her and she said she didn't i think she's saying her emotion right right, right, right. um okay please take this kid out just please take her home get up home okay thank you is this her car okay. no it's my boyfriend's well, car boy, boy, okay. ma'am what's your boyfriend's name i'm not telling you what is your boyfriend's name? It doesn't matter. We're trying to help you out, but okay. But I'm not. Hey, well, you don't gotta throw your water. No, I have to. What's going on? Talk to me. Because I try to go in there and talk to a principal. What happened? Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it matters to me. I'd like to know. I'm not trying to help you out a little bit here. I'm not driving. I know. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, that's all. Yeah. Then I'm gonna be the No, I didn't say that. Yeah. I'll not at all. So this is actually the high school's like end of the year staff party in there. The assistant principal came out, she's a, was a supervisor, she got let go. She saw the lady that caught her and it made her upset. She came storming out here. They stopped her before she got in her truck to drive and they just waited for us to get here. So I called boyfriend, he's on his way. Come get her, so. Just let me drive home. Oh no, you're not gonna let you drive. Wait, he's on his way. Okay, we're just hanging out. Don't make me him out. I'm not hey, the hey. person. Hey, hey, that's not your car, remember? It's not your car. Oh. It's not yours. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. Stop. But you go to jail. Stop. You know I haven't done nothing wrong. But you can't hit on somebody else's car. That's not I don't yours. Care. She does it again. She goes to jail. Ma'am. Let's, let's not do that. Ma'am. Hey. Mom. Hey, look at me. Ma'am. Look at Mom. me. This is your last chance. Look at me. Mom. Hey. Can you look at me real quick? I haven't got to talk to you yet. Okay? Can you look right here? Just focus on me. I've already talked to your boyfriend who's gonna pick you up and you get to go home and then just do whatever you wanna do the rest of the day. Right? Yeah. So just listen to me. All so, right. so I'm let's the home. person Can you just hear that me? gets. I hear you, but please don't strike the vehicle anymore or Mom. I'm gonna have to take you, okay? Mom. What, are you threatening me? Mom. Her former colleagues were trying their best to contain the situation, but it seems this woman was looking to add some spice to her unemployment. Her next actions seem out of character for someone with her background in academics. I don't know if you want to... Patricia, come on. All right, can we just relax, please? We're giving you a We're helping you out. Come on. I'll f*** you up. I'm just threatening a police officer. You want to go to jail, ma'am? No, to I want to f*** you up. So, ma'am... We were being very kind with you. We gave you a chance. We gave you a chance, and now you are going to go to jail. Bye. Bye. 
Right. So, we're going to get you up. We don't need any more charges, right? So right. please cooperate. Understood? Come on, let's stand up. I've to you so far. Let's stand nope. up. Come on. I'm not seeing her. I'm not seeing enough. Here, take this on for you. Then her back. Come on. Put your hands right here. Hey. Don't oh. pull me. Stop. Come on. Pull me. You're making this way worse. Stop. Stop. Let's stop. stop. Let go. Don't pull me. Let go, please. Stop. Please stop. Don't pull me. Let go. Calm down. Let go. Let me get your purse. Let me hold your purse. Let go. Only. Let go. I will give it to her. Let go. Let it go. Okay, okay, okay. Let it go. Stop. Only Miss Felicia. Okay. Let it go. Let's let it go, baby. There I'm right here. Got it? Let it go. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Stop. Stop. No. 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 Stop. Why are you being this way? No. Yeah, why are you? Why are you being this way? Nobody's messing with me. Don't with me. Don't Thanks, we will. Don't me. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you. Hey, I'll grab it. Thank you. <laughs> don't f with me. Come on. Don't f with me. I got smaller cops. I the said, problem. don't f with me. What was supposed to be a quick, empathic warning from the cops? Had turned into an arrest. If this woman was ever a good teacher, she'd know that bad mouthing gets you detention, not a free hall pass. But she's not done with her dramatics yet. Let me go! He's making it really bad. Fine. I'm just pissed because I kept trying to adjust them and then she'd yank it. So. Was it just when she would move it? Yeah, I then yep. my handcuff key got stuck. Yep, it was an operator error, wasn't so it? Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to find him real quick. Um, if anything, though, if anything, if hear, hear me out. I, okay, I'm dealing with your girlfriend screaming in my car, so I gotta be quick. Your keys will either be here with an officer or they'll be at the police department. Okay. I understand. All right. Knock it off. I'll you. Pick it up. I'll fight you. I'll do nothing. You want my I'll do nothing. You're about to get I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. My man is on his way. My man is on his way. Come. Go ahead! Watch her. My man is on his way! Put your feet down. No! Yes, please. No! My man is on his way! Seatbelt? My man is on his way! Kick the f out of you! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! The woman was charged with disorderly intoxication and resisting an officer. While this woman was disorderly due to grief of unemployment, our next teacher might just be a habitual drunk. Are you friends who use whippets in the car with you now? Um, it is a possibility. 
On February 16th, 2024, a Cuyahoga Falls cop observed a vehicle with expired registration travel over marked lane lines. He initiated a traffic stop and asked the 29-year-old driver if she had consumed any alcohol. Here's what she had to say. I got to send this out. Dispatch, false seven is done. Maybe, maybe we're gonna stop. Full seven. Dami Kaiko Falls. And the reason I stopped you is for one, your tags are expired. For the other, your left hand turn back there was kind of sloppy. Do you have driver's license proof of insurance on you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I am going, uh, I'm going tomorrow to get my tags renewed. You know, you don't have to go anywhere to do that, right? You can just do it right online. Um, I did figure I had to go in for an e check. You should be able to just go onto home plates, but. Where you guys come from tonight? Just uh, Richard's crowd. We all just got off work. Anybody had anything to drink tonight? I had a drink before we left work. Ma'am, have you had anything to drink tonight? I have not, no. Nothing? No, I have, I have not. I'll have you step out for just one second, ma'am. Yeah. You can leave it running so your friends don't freeze. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you so much. Second. Thank you. Uh, I could just smell a little alcohol coming out of the car if you want to stand over here. Is it okay if I check your eyes? Just to make yeah. sure. I know yeah. you said you hadn't had anything to drink, but believe yeah. it or not, people do lie. Okay. okay. Yeah, absolutely. Still no. haven't had anything? I've had like, not, I just got off work with these guys. Okay. So, so okay. no alcohol whatsoever. I shouldn't have anything on my system, no. Slightly different answer than the question I asked you. Have you had any alcohol tonight? I have not had, I have not been drinking, no. Did we? Sorry. Mm -hmm. You see my finger? Yes. Follow with your eyes and your eyes only. I'm just going to move around a little bit, okay? May I ask you that question again? This time be truthful with me. Have you been drinking tonight? Um, I've not been out like drinking. Oh. I have had to, like I Dispatch Fall Seven. I'll take a call. I apologize. I I'm sorry for I've been out just I is there like something that we like did wrong here? Can you, can you just go ahead and have a seat on your bumper for me, man? Kenya? Mm, I don't know. It's small. Go ahead and have a seat back in your car. My partner's going to get here. I'm going to have you step out again when he does, but it's freezing cold. I'll have you have a seat in your car, okay? Uh, do you mind if I talk to you, your backseat passenger? Um, what do you mean? I just want to... I'm not going to ask her anything about you. Are you a valid driver, ma'am? Yeah. Have you had anything to drink tonight? No. Do you have an ID on you? I do. Still got a vertical one. Yep. <laughs> what we got going on? She says she hasn't been drinking and I think she's lying. So we're going to find out. We are going to find out? Well, maybe. She might be concerned. Thank you. Thank you. He said that. Stand back here. Okay. Male passenger backseat behind the driver. Uh, female. The, it's told a female passenger backseat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was talking male's Sorry. passenger. Sorry. Um, can you just put your hands down to your sides for yep. me? Do you have anything in your pockets that's going to hurt me? 
Um, I don't uh, think so. Oh, no. I'm um, sorry. You're all right. Uh, nope. Do you I, mind if I just pat them nope. real quick? Just Go ahead. Sure you usually carry a gun, knife, anything like that? Nope. You in the habit of stabbing not. or shooting police officers? I am not. Perfect. I know I am a teacher in Canton City Schools, so Really? Which not, one? Uh, school where they get sent for the alternative kids for I'm when they get expelled. All right. Are you? <laughs> yeah, you can put your hands back down. I didn't yep. go there, but I know it. Yeah, yeah. I have a, a lot of kids from there. <sighs> okay. All good. Do you have anything wrong with your eyes? Do you wear glasses or contacts? I don't. Okay. No. Uh, cataracts, glaucoma, anything like that? No. Have you had a TBI or concussion recently? Um, not that I'm aware of, but I have broken up a couple of, like, school fights and stuff like that where, like, I've been, like, kind of... Gone to the hospital it. for anything for your head? Not to the hospital, no. Okay. Just to the school nurse. <laughs> Do you mind just keeping your hands down to your sides yeah, for me? sorry. All right. Yep. I'm going to move my finger from side to side. Okay. Follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. Can okay. you see what color glove I'm wearing? Black. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. You're just going to be real tempting to move your head, and you just okay. did. Just my eyes. Just your eyes. The supervisor noted her dilated pupils, which pointed to potential intoxication, but he still let her prove her sobriety by performing a field test. It turns out she's not tonight's star student or teacher. All right, man, you see my flashlight? Yep. Can you stand on it, please? Stand. Just, yeah, not like actually this? on my flashlight since it's up in here. Yeah. But yeah, stand <laughs> on where the beam is. We're right on here. Is anything wrong with your hips, knees, or ankles? Um, I do have hip dysplasia, but I had a brace for that when I was a child. Okay. So it's... Hopefully been mostly corrected since, okay. since then. Uh, lower back or spinal injuries? Um, I did break my back when I was maybe 13 or so, but other than that, none of them. I didn't look. How old are you now? Um, 29. Okay, so it's been a minute. Yeah. All right. It has. It has been a minute. If you could put... Do you see the 7 on the front of my car? Yes, I do. Can you imagine a straight line running from you to that 7? Put your, right here. Yep, put your left foot on that, and then yep. your right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe just like this. Heel to toe like yep. this. Yep, hands down to your sides, and just stand there until I tell you to do otherwise. When I tell you to, but not before I tell you to, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down that line that you're imagining. When you get to... Sorry, I apologize, my nose is running. It's a little, a little chilly out here. When you get to that ninth step, you're going to take a series of small steps, and you're going to take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. Backwards. With the, no, ma'am. You're going to turn all the way around. I'll, way. I'll show you. Okay. So nine With steps e up, nine steps Yes, ma'am. With each step, you're going to touch heel to toe. You're not okay. going to step off the line. You're going to keep your hands down to your sides. You're going to look down at your feet. And you're going to count out loud. It's going to look something like this. So starting just how you are. One, two, three. So on till nine. I did three. You'll do nine. Okay. Series of small steps to turn. And then one, two, three, and so on until nine. Again, I did three. You're going to do nine. Okay. So Again. I'm going to do one from here, so like one, it, then two. Yes, ma'am, but wait okay. till I tell you to. Wait, yeah. All right. Again, you're going to take, you're going to touch heel to toe with each step, not step off the line. Hands stay down to your sides, look down at your feet, count your steps out loud, and once you've started, just go ahead and don't stop, okay? Do you understand okay. those instructions, ma'am? Yes. All right, you may begin okay. when you're ready. So nine steps toward the seven. All right. Last thing I'm gonna have you do. Um, how high is the heel on those boots? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe an inch or two. Okay. Are you used to wearing shoes like that? Not particularly. All right. Can you walk okay shoes. in them and everything? So I don't would you like to try that again without those shoes on them in your socks? Um. Sure. It, it's completely up to you. I just want to offer that to you. Sure. Yeah. Okay, if you'd like to, you can go ahead and pop your shoes off. You said you were training at work. Where do you work at? Um, I Well, I have three jobs currently. Uh, I work at Butcher and Sprout. So I was training people as a host and server there. Um, I also work as a teacher in <laughs> schools. And then I also work in a machine shop in Stowe. It's called... Uh, 
cool uh, cool nut. So. You're in like CNC machines and stuff there? Yeah. I like your socks. <laughs> yeah, sorry, right, I, got, do you, I, I do have mismatched socks pretty regularly. <laughs> I have kids, I understand. Um, yeah. Do you remember the instructions? So walk heel to toe. Yep. Like Don't step off the line. Just directly in front of each other. Yep. Don't step off the line. Keep your hands down to your side. Go ahead. Just wait back until I tell you to start again okay. so I can run through everything. Okay. Don't step off the line. Touch heel to toe with each step. Look down at your feet. Hands stay down to your sides. Count your steps out loud. And once you've started, don't stop. Do you understand those okay. instructions? And it's nine steps. Nine steps. And then I'm to turn around. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then walk nine steps back. Yes. yes. Go ahead and start like this. Okay. Start like this. Yep. Okay. It's great. It's great step. Sorry. <laughs> Just, just how I instructed you. Okay. All right. Now, last thing. When I tell you to, you're gonna take one foot, either foot. Don't care which it is. When I demonstrate, I'm gonna use my left because I like to stand on my right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take that foot. You're gonna hold it about six, six inches off the ground. You're gonna point your toe. See so your foot. Uh, perpendicular to the ground. I'm sorry, parallel with the ground. You're going to point your toe. You're going to keep your leg nice and straight. You're going to look down at your pointed toe and you're going to count out loud 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and so on until I tell you to stop. It's going to look something like this. Again, I'm going to use my left foot. Toes pointed about 6 inches off the ground. My leg is nice and straight. I'm looking down at that toe and I'm going to count out loud 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and so on. While you're doing that, you're going to look at your toe. I'm going to look up at you to tell you, make sure you keep your hands down by your sides, okay? okay. Do you understand those instructions, yes. ma'am? All right. You have my time? You have a, whenever you're ready. All right. You have a preference for leg? Whichever one works for you. Okay. I don't know if my this is super great. Let's find out together. Okay. Is there, like, anything else that we can do right now? Or, like, you just want to? Okay. Let me see. I'm, I've never been a very good balancer. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I used to do Wii sports and all that. How long, what do you want me to do? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. How long would you like me to go? He'll tell you when to stop. Just keep going. Just keep going. Our suspect was cooperative initially, but once she realized actions have consequences, she began making demands that she would later retract. Thankfully, the cop wasn't having any of it. All right, man. Go ahead and turn around and face away from me. Okay. Are turn you... around and face away from me. Right. Okay. You're being placed under arrest, man. Okay, for... Operating right, the people okay. all good. Do you have, like, a breathalyzer? Or, yeah, like, we're going to get to that. Like? Okay, and I would like you to like do get to that point. Okay, Bam. Right now. Okay. You need to follow a lawful order. Turn around and okay. face away from me. Put your hands together behind your back, like you're praying. Okay. Please do that. Okay. This only goes badly if you don't. Okay. I understand. Thank you. I will give you an opportunity to provide a breath sample. All right. All right. Put your hands together like you're praying. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna roll your sleeves up for you. I don't want to accidentally cuff them. You are being raped. Placed under arrest for operating a vehicle while impaired. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one of you provided for you. And you have the right to have that attorney present with you for any questioning. Do you understand your rights as they have been read to you? Ma'am, do you understand your I, rights? I am not sure right now what is going on. <laughs> okay. I can explain anything to you. I just need to know if you understand your rights. I I'm not sure. What? Okay, we're going we're gonna to okay. grab your shoes for yep. you. Let's just slide those back onto the back seat of my car, okay? Stay in the vehicle, please, sir. Yep, you're fine. Um, is she allowed to relinquish her phone to me? Uh, she's probably going to want to keep it to call a ride. That's what I'm going to make sure her boyfriend gets to wherever she's going. So, so shouldn't she take the phone so she can call him? Okay. He's Let's walk former with roommates with him. Oh, so okay. I got you. I got you. As long as we have a way to contact him. Yep, but okay. we'll be up to talk to you in a second, though. Okay. Okay, man, do you understand your rights? 
Okay, can you... I can, will happily repeat yeah. them to you. Yeah, absolutely. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. And you're right, you have the right to have that attorney present with you for any question. Do you understand okay. those rights they've been read to you? Okay. Yeah. Have you been forthright with me so far tonight, ma'am? Um, as much as I can be. I know I did go out with some... Uh, so, where were you coming from tonight? Um, Mario's. Where I picked these guys up okay. after the drinks were out. Did you have a couple drinks tonight, ma'am? Um, at Mario's, I did have about three beers. Okay. Why did you um, initially tell me you had? Um... I honestly just... I was hoping I was kind of bad at my job. No, not that. Swing your legs. I do apologize because I do deal with like the same kind of... I'll be back with you in one moment, okay? Do you get drug tested? Do I get drug tested? Mm -hmm. As what? A teacher. You said you were a teacher, yeah? Yeah, I am. No, I do not. Okay. Have you ever used Whippets? Um, I have some friends that have, actually, that have been in my car. Have you? I have in the very past. Not anything new. Anything Is this the same as you haven't had anything to drink tonight? You actually have had no, something to drink I tonight? I absolutely have not used whippets in any... Are your friends who use whippets in the car with you now? Um, it is a possibility, but... Do you know why I'm asking you that? Yeah, absolutely. Do your friends in the car with you now use any other sort of... No. You understand that as a driver you're responsible for everything in the vehicle, correct? I do not, but... You are, legally. Okay. So, I'm going to ask you one more time. Is there something that someone else brought into your vehicle today that you would like them to take responsibility for and not you? Oh, I am responsible for everything in the vehicle. Everything in the vehicle. People in here today and not bringing in. It's You're not, sure? It's not the people here today. No. I'm not gonna it's find not, in that car. No, no, like that. No, I mean I'm sure there's like a bunch because I was the teacher and I moved all my classroom stuff into there. Well, there shouldn't be in any of that. Why would there be? Oh, why would there be? I I haven't done. I've never done. Okay. See, there's not. Hmm. Just whip it. You think of using that, yeah, from people that were in my car. Doing whip it's in your car. Not in my car. Not in your car. They just bring the empty canisters with them? It is a very, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Okay. Yeah, it is. Here's the thing about compulsive liars. They don't ever mean anything they say. At the police station, the officers granted her request for a breathalyzer test, offering her the option. You'd be surprised to find out what our model teacher chose. So you get pulled over with the suspicion of that, and you get your license extended for a year. And so you get your review test. It okay. Cool. All right. Um, Thank 
keep your ID, it's going to stay with me. Okay. And like I said, as of right now, your license is suspended for a year. Okay. So if you were going to, if you have to work tomorrow, you have time. Um, I can walk if the van is pretty close. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. I'll ask you the same question I ask everybody who refuses. Why choose the longer suspension? Um, that's just legally what I was. Uh, I don't know. That's what's the right word. Advice. Advice, I guess to do. Yeah, by several people who've all been pulled over for the same thing, family, friends, whatever else. But, but everyone I've ever talked to has said never take a buckle edge test. So. All right, if I could have you stand up right there and look at the camera directly above my head. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, can you turn your whole body to face the ass on the wall? Mm-hmm. Right, you can sit back down now. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Home. Oh, oh that's what you're in front of the home. Just sit. There. Down the street, then home. Where did you leave from? Mario. Have you been drinking? Um, I had about two beers throughout the entire night, but probably about six hours ago at this point. Mm-hmm. No, not quite. I got off what, 9.30 and 10 o'clock. Well, what were you doing? Beer. How many did you have? Um, I had two. Yeah. Had Mario's? Um, I had, well, no, I had two at Butcher. And then I had a water at Mario's. Earlier you told me you had three at Mario's. But I had three at Mario's. Mm-hmm. I probably said I had like three throughout the night, maybe. So did you have one at Mario? Um, I, was, I had a, a shot at Mario. Ah. I had a little shot. And then I had water. Are you under the influence of now off now? The woman was charged with operating a vehicle impaired, driving on marked lanes, and expired vehicle registration. This cooperative suspect was probably just having a bad day, but our next teacher is arrested for a shocking crime that'll send chills down your spine. And there's no way I can call my husband. They'll, they'll talk to you and everything, explain what they're doing, but just sit tight, okay? On March 22, 2018, Brittany Zamora drove to work through the overcast desert sky of Goodyear, Arizona. Her routine commute took an unexpected turn when multiple police cruisers surrounded her burgundy Mazda. She was well aware of what she had done. This officer has a body cam on him as well, so um, just to make you feel more comfortable, even though. Know. Hey, Brittany, come on over here. Yeah. yeah. Did you double lock? Uh, I didn't. I okay. Don't okay. Brittany, I'm going to turn your wrist in here, okay? No, we just want to make sure they don't hit you. Okay. So we double lock them so they don't close you tighter, okay? That way Did you know about that? Okay. Do you have uh, anything on you that's going to hurt me, poke me, stick me, Brittany? Do you have anything on you that's going to hurt me, poke me, stick me, anything like that? Uh, no. Anything dangerous? No weapons? Okay. No, yeah, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to feel the put it back on? Yeah, you will. You, you this is your personal your property. So everything that goes in this bag. Okay. I'm going to take your necklace off as well. So we'll document it. Can you unhandcuff me so I can take my belly button right now? Your what? My belly button. We'll, we'll let you. We'll do that, that at the okay. jail. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to have Or at the station. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. And then we'll have you do the same with the nose ring, too. Right not right now. No. Yeah. no, no. Back there. Yeah. Face 
piece of vehicle for me? She says she does have a wire. A wire? Okay. All right, what I'm gonna do is a blade technique. I'm just gonna go below the breast, okay? And then uh, you're wearing a dress. Other than that, you don't have anything stuffed in your bra? No. Okay. Okay. And then, is this uh, just an outer? Yeah, okay. you can take it off. No, you can keep it on. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Can you turn towards me? Open up your mouth. Lift up your tongue. Okay. And then I will help you. I know it's a big step. I'm only five foot. I know. I, I feel it. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And scoot your butt a little forward, and you're going to be able to lean back and put your arms right here. So it's kind of a cut out a yeah. little bit. Like this? Yep. Yeah. Sort of. So and you can put your weight on them. Yeah. Okay. They are metal, so they don't bend. And then I know you're short. You're just like me, so that thing's going to be right in the face. He wasn't on the phone. Yeah. There we go. Um, what happens with my car? Uh, we're going right to tow your car. Okay. And uh, the, so the detect, whenever you get, whenever, we're going to bring you down Sorry. to our station, okay? You're going to speak to a detective and they'll kind of explain uh, what's going to happen. So if you have any questions, I know I know you want to know the answers now, but I, I can't provide you those answers. I don't know that information. I but I can tell you right now the car is going to be towed, mm -hmm. and um, it's either going to be towed for the purpose of the arrest or uh, for evidence. I don't I don't know which one it would be. For, like I said, I don't know the details of the case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you need a tow slip? According to police reports, Zamora was arrested for engaging in illegal relations with her 13-year-old student on multiple occasions. She was accused of first grooming the boy through special attention, explicit texts, and naked photos of herself. You want the window down a little bit? No, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry? I don't know. I can't give you any of that information. under the original DR or the supplement? 11332. Edward 31 on scene, copy ending. 
straight ahead. And you can have a seat on that bench for a second. Hi. Whatever. Um, actually, I'm going to have you stand up because I'm going to take those couch off of you so you can take your uh, jewelry out. to get your belly button ring on, I can put you in the cell. Can you turn around? That's fine. Okay. As if her crime isn't shocking enough, what makes it more embarrassing is that Zamora is a married woman. Her husband supported her even after her charges came to light, but the two eventually divorced in 2019. Any other jewelry that I need to be aware of? Um, you can have a seat. Oops, sorry. Dude. Which one are the other uh, males in? A1 and A2? No, all these were, I put it in A2. A2? B R I T T. Oh. It's your date of birth. Are you diabetic? Anything like that? Medical issues? with me. We're going to go to that second cell door. No. I don't know. And there's no way I can call my husband or anything? They'll, they'll talk to you and everything, explain what they're doing, but just sit tight, okay? On July 12, 2019, Brittany Ann Zamora was sentenced to 20 years in prison, the minimum punishment permitted under state law. Teachers are expected to be role models who care for children in the absence of their parents for a good portion of the day. Naturally, they are held to high standard of conduct inside and outside school. While enjoying life outside of work is perfectly fine, being a good citizen should come naturally to a good teacher. That's something I can't say about our next suspect, who's so drunk she thinks the cops gave her an A for crashing her car. But will you put my mugshot on a t-shirt? <laughs> I'm trying to be a teacher, and my dad's dead, so I don't need to do lectures right now. Allison is a teaching assistant and a Texas A&M education major who was confronted by an officer from the College Station Police Department on June 12, 2022, after she rear-ended the vehicle of her own friend in a parking deck. When the police inquired about the crash, Allison gave her best sober person cosplay. Hey, how are you? This is the driver. A uh, silver car? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what did she crash into? Uh, the back of a Chevy pickup. We just had to move, so it would because it was gotcha. smashing everybody. Okay. Have, he had. Like, what, what was the other? It was a. Uh, I think it was a Chevy Silverado. Was, it was the driver or the owner there? Yeah, he's right there. The blue shirt. Blue shirt. Okay. And then this is. Sorry, don't mind us. We're on the. Uh, on the right. Okay. Eleven forty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Here, let, let me talk to you over here, okay? Okay. So, what happened? No, honestly, the AC in my car is out. I was mm -hmm. fixing my hair. I didn't realize they were breaking as fast as they were. Okay. I didn't realize there was a big line, and I literally just smacked into them. I've had two shots and one drink tonight. Okay. Like, so, I'm, did this happen right here, or where like did Like, it literally happen? just happened right here. Like, right by the entrance? Yeah, like, I was just fixing, like, the AC in my car is out. Like, okay. I was just sweaty, and I wasn't being smart. I'm sorry. So, so you... You were parked upstairs somewhere? I was parked literally on the, I think, third floor. Okay. Go ahead. 
Ten four. Uh, were you the only one in the car? I was the only one in the car. Right, and this is your car, right? It is my car. Everything yeah. and it belongs to you and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, so, how, how long ago did this happen? Are we talking like, like a minute or two, or like a half hour ago, or an hour or what? Like probably twenty, like less than twenty minutes ago. Okay. Like it happened really fast. Um. Okay, so where were you before all this happened? I was at Good Bowl. I literally had one drink at Good Bowl and one shot, two okay. shots maybe. Okay. Uh, what time did you get to Good Bowl tonight? What time did I get to Good Bowl? Like probably like I probably got to Northgate at like eleven thirty. Probably got to Good Bowl at twelve. Okay. Uh, if you had to guess what time it is right now without checking the clock, what time would you say it is? Probably like almost two o'clock, like one thirty, okay. one forty-five. And what time did you leave Good Bowl? Probably like one thirty-ish. Okay, so you left Good Bowl and came right over here, or did you make any other stops? No, like we didn't make any other stops. Like okay. we all decided we were leaving. Okay. But I have work in the morning, so I didn't want to get too drunk or anything. So. Uh, what time did you start your first drink, roughly? My first drink, probably like midnight. Okay, and what time did you finish your last one? I didn't even finish my last okay. one. It's probably like, I mean, I didn't check the time, but probably like 1.20, 1.30. Okay. Uh, right now, I, actually, let me ask you this. What, what kind of drinks were they? So I had a Moscow Mule at Good Bowl, and okay. then I had one fireball shot, and then I had one pickle shot at Tipsy Turtle. Okay. Uh, were they single shots, double shots? I mean, I just ordered like regular. I don't know how they poured them, but I'm assuming single. I didn't ask for doubles. Okay. And then that, that mixed drink, do you know if that was the a single Moscow or double? Mule. I mean, I finished half of it. I'm assuming okay. it was a single. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, right now, if you had to, to rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being completely sober, 10 being the most intoxicated you've ever been in your life, where do you say you are right now? Probably like a 5. Like, definitely like... I. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so you're feeling it? No, I feel, yeah. Okay. Do you, with that in mind, do you think it's a good idea for you to be driving right now? I mean, I definitely thought I was okay to drive. Like, Okay, yeah. well, given what's happened, does your opinion change, perhaps? I mean, no, because I was genuinely finishing, my, like like I said, like the AC in my car was out. I was fixing, mm -hmm. I was trying to pull up my hair, and it was stupid okay. of me. But gotcha, okay. No, I definitely thought I was okay to drive. Where are you headed to tonight? My house. Okay, where's that at? Uh, the Woodlands. The Woodlands. College Station. Oh, oh like right the, the apartment, the not the city. Yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha, city. gotcha. Okay. Um, um, if I were to hand you the, the keys to a school bus full of kids right now, would you feel safe driving that? Probably not, because I am an education major, okay. and I, like, do care. Like, I would never... Okay, so, for any kids intoxicated ever. Okay, so, so, so you think because you are intoxicated, it's probably not safe to be driving kids around? Not kids around, no. Okay. Like, I would never want to have gotcha. other lives reliable. Okay. Um, do you take any, uh, or have you used any illegal drugs of any kind? Absolutely okay. not, no. Any prescription medications, whether they're prescribed no, to you sorry. or not? Okay. Uh, have you had any recent head injuries? No. Okay. Uh, other than this, uh, have you been in any car crashes or physical fights I'm, in the last 24 hours? No, absolutely not. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Are you under the care of a doctor for anything? No. Do you have diabetes? No. Epilepsy? No. Okay. Uh, any physical injuries or disabilities that would prevent you from walking or balancing normally? No, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, if I could just have you face me, stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes, okay? okay. Uh, so what I'd like you to do, follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, you can begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn now? Yep, turn just like I showed you. Okay. Uh, next test we're going to do is called the one leg stand test. So for now, if you could just stand with your feet together, arms down by your side, just like you've been doing. And stay just like that until I tell you otherwise. Uh, so when you begin, I'm going to have you lift up one foot. It doesn't matter which one. Hold it level with the ground, about six inches above the ground. Keep your legs straight. Look down at your toe and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Do you okay. understand? Yes, sir. I'm not going to lie. I just did leg day with my first name. Okay. But I think I got it. Okay. All right. You can, can be now? Yeah, you can begin. Until you tell me to stop? Yep. Okay, perfect. One, two, three. 
Yep, keep going. 2010, Okay, you can put your foot down. Oh. While Alison's sobriety test performance wasn't the worst, it was far from perfect. As she explained the circumstances surrounding her erratic behavior, the officer's next steps became clear. Uh, so besides the, the three drinks at the bar tonight, what else did you have before you came um, out the I'm bar? not gonna lie, I got off work today at like five o'clock. I had one margarita, one, from okay. Chewy's. And then I went home, I took a shower, I went to the gym, and then around like 11.45, I got home from the Okay. Gotcha. Uh, how did you think you did on those tests? I feel like I did fine, to be honest. Okay. You felt like you did fine? Like, if, yeah. if you had to rate yourself, are we talking like like uh, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%? Um, probably like at 8, like at least passing, yeah. Like so like 8 out of 10? Yeah. Okay. Hypothetical, do you think if you were to drive at an 8 out of 10 is necessarily safe if there's a 20% chance you might I be mean, running like, somebody over I mean, or like, hurting honestly, yourself? honestly, no, like, I would obviously always want my friends to be with someone who's, like, 100% okay to drive. Like, okay. Like, obviously me, but, like, yes, I thought I was okay to get to their friends. Okay. Well, gotcha. gotcha. I definitely didn't think I was too drunk to drive. Okay. I only had, I didn't even finish my drink tonight. Gotcha. Okay. Well... Based on everything that's happened tonight, okay, with, with the crash that happened here, um, signs of intoxication I'm seeing, the performance on these tests, I don't think it's safe to be driving tonight, okay? Can I have my friend take me home? Uh, nope. Uh, so if you can place your hands okay. behind your back, you are under arrest for DWI right now, okay? Awesome. Just move your hands away just a little bit from the back. Yeah, it's gonna get towed. Right. Um, give me, give me just a minute. Yeah. Um, Is that friend sober? <laughs> so far, we're over three. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the rest. Oh, no, it's okay. We'll get you out of there. I just wonder what's happening. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't be like. Yeah, so I'll, um, what, I'm going to grab your information in a second. I'll, I'll explain all, all the... Gotcha, okay. But I, I still need to grab your information and your vehicle's information just because it was involved. Okay. Um, give me just a moment. I'm going to come back and talk to you and explain it all to you after I, I finish up right here, okay? Sure. Uh, your key ring is going to go with you. The, the key stays with the car because the tow truck needs the key, okay? Uh, 11.44 case number for the garage. She wants to release her property to you, yes. Okay, so you want everything to go with him? You don't even want to take your phone or anything like that? Do you have any, do you have any phone numbers memorized? Uh, phone number. No, no, no. Here. Should we take her phone number? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. so, so, so you want the rest of the keys to go with him in the purse? Okay, there are the keys. Yeah, let, 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 let me grab the purse, okay? Do y'all have the phone charger at the police station? Uh, probably. Uh, do you have your ID with you? I know it doesn't seem like it. 
Uh, let me copy down your information. I'll be right back with you, okay? Who says you can't turn moments of self-reflection into a mini party? As soon as her best friend arrives at the scene, the parking lot turns into a studio. Based on what you're about to see, I probably wouldn't trust this person to teach my kids accountability. It says on the other card that was already there prior to. Okay. All, it's all of this. So just this, all this scuff stuff? Yeah. Okay. It's, like, it's, it's fine. Okay. It's Is is she your friend or do you know her? Or? She's a friend of ours. Yes. Okay, yeah. So she's going to the Brazos County Jail for for drawing while intoxicated. Um. How do I get out? You're my emergency. Yeah. So get you out? She's gonna be issued a bond and. Pretty sure, pretty sure it'll be pretty quick, okay? I'm never uh, gonna be it'll be like a PR bond. bond, and she'll be able to get out, okay? And it, it might be tonight, uh, it might be early in the morning. Uh, what's the soonest you think she can get out? A couple hours. <laughs> it's just as fast. It's just as fast as they can get her booked I'm in. Calling all that stuff, okay? <laughs> no, Quinn's gonna be so mad. Don't call Quinn. I have to call Quinn. You're gonna. Have, we have to call in anyways. You're gonna, I have to tell him. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not going to get fired over that. Oh, I thought I did so good. I'm just like so guys. confused on why, like, I can't just take the bumper off the car and take it home. Oh, I don't even want to take instead it. Of, we don't, instead like, of spending 350 on a tow truck, you know? The thing is, that I, it's not my call. Yeah, and, I know. Like, if it's drivable, he said it's, not it, drivable. it's possible. I mean, can, I mean, but if it punctures anything or causes any other kind of, like, internal damage to the vehicle, yeah. It could catch on fire on the way, yeah. and, and that would be liable on us, if you know what I mean, so. Quinn didn't even answer. Yeah, because it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the two. morning. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I mean, you can just... If you I'm leaving it for my shift tomorrow. Are you kidding if me? You I'll be it. there. No, you won't. Yes, I will. What time do you go? 10.30. 10 30. I'll be there. I'm not my Last shot time I went to up. jail, I was there for 17 hours. So uh, for what? I can't call my mom. Literally, there was five of us, and they took us all to jail for less than a uh, or less than a gram of. Somebody didn't claim it. Okay. But he didn't give us the option. He took us all, yeah. and then they didn't give us the option until we we're in front of the judge for someone to claim it. And I claimed it because it was my car. We hop out to my car. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Hated it. I didn't yeah. really get on my test. I'm not gonna lie. What was the test? I did. Good. I don't so know why he told me I failed. What was the I was test? followed his fingers. I was on it. All I could see was his I think it's safe to say that Allison's perception of how the situation is playing out isn't quite reality. Can I talk to Clint? Clint, I'm really Clint. Please don't be mad at me. I was fixing my hair while I was driving. And of course, they pulled me out. And I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm not even that drunk. I've had two shots in one day. But, 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 will you put my mugshot on a t-shirt? <laughs> like, don't be mad at me, Clint. Like, I'm trying to be a teacher, and my dad's dead, so I don't need to be lectured right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't, don't back in with somebody. How big was your shot? How big was my shot? I had one fireball shot and one purple shot. Like, fuck off. So the eyes, so the eyes is HDNs. It's horizontal gaze and nystagmus. It's yeah. something that you can't control. Yeah. It's a chemical imbalance in your brain and in your body to the uh, introduction of alcohol, and it's something that you can't control. Yeah. And we see a lot, like, of uh, people when we do it, they're like, man, I did good. Like, it's something you cannot control. Yeah, I get it. I and I, I hate it. Was I really not doing good on the balance? I thought well, I was. There's yeah, clues for each one. But... I, listen, I destroyed my legs, and then... Listen, my legs were still sore, and he made me do legs again for an hour today. I was like, 
I'm gonna do sprints. I, I told the officer that. I was like, listen, I just need legs. He's like, I understand. But he's fat, so he doesn't understand. He's not so. fat. Not you. No. No. It's usually pretty quick. I'm not, no. I'm not getting in this. Really haven't met that many people that are excited for this. Might as well make life harder for now. Rather than just sit here all day. It's okay. Just smile. You'll be okay. Will y'all put it on a t-shirt? Ask the one to take the test one more time. We'll have a party whenever you get out. Yeah, let's see. We're having whole conversations over here. We can't. even talking to her. You're not going to shoot. I wish, I wish it was that easy, but we can't. But it literally is that easy. People on the Are you willing to provide a specimen of your breath? Um, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are, are you willing to sign this form once you get down to the jail out of handcuffs to say that you're willing to give that breath? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I'll, are you in talk certified by any chance? No. Okay, I'll come up to jail whenever I'm free, okay? Um, so he's going to take you down to the Brazos County Jail now. I'm going to come up there in a little while and we're going to do the breath test, okay? Y'all have my friend's phone numbers in there? Yeah, all of it's Yes. Up. And your phone. All right, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, well, so we can call up there when? Like how, how she'll, she'll be able to call you guys and let you know like the, the process through it when we get her booked in and everything, and it'll be shortly after that. Okay. Hey, hold on just a second, I gotta make sure I didn't accidentally put the tea in that bag. And so, uh, is it Brazos County is where she's Yeah, it's gonna be off of Sandy Point. So I just call Brazos County and then I guess type this in or something? No, you won't have to type anything in. Uh, that's just for her, for okay. if she gets her attorney and stuff like that, she can give them the okay. case number. Y'all won't have to do anything with that case number. You're good, girl, you're okay, you're okay. I'm waiting for the key? The key's not in here. So I have, oh wait, no. I have the key. The, the car key. Oh yeah, the, okay. okay. I got all like the house keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her over there, okay? Yeah. You can walk with me. Well, it'll probably no. Um, it'll probably be like six or seven, closer to <laughs> six or seven, so yeah. to be able to get out. She's going, she's going to Sandy Point. It's going to be Brass County Jail, but we're, it's off of Sandy Point. Allison was taken into police custody over the charges of an alleged DWI. While Allison is out of touch and carefree, our next suspect behaves less like a teacher and more like a class clown. I'm sitting down. No, nope. put your feet question. in there. That's all you all requested was for me to sit down. Put your feet in now. Now I'm requesting you to put your feet in. On February 7th, 2024, police in Ohio were called about a woman causing a disturbance outside of daybreak, an emergency shelter for homeless and vulnerable youth. According to her, she was trying to get her clothes from the establishment, but the staff had a different story to tell. I caught him with Hi. Hello. We just talked last night. What's going yeah. on today? Um, they put me out because I got robbed. Okay. They kicked me out of the building and I want my things back and they won't let me go get my things. Okay. Do you have ID on you? No. Okay. They melted in the last house fire that I had. Okay. What's your name? I don't really want to do this. I'm really just trying to leave. Okay. I'm not I, trying to be here. I need I your don't, information. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. If you don't talk, you're going to sit in the cruiser. What do I have to sit in the cruiser be for? I'm not even on their property. Okay. I'm on the sidewalk. Okay. We're not going to have, we're not going to do this. Either you're going to give me your information or you're going to have a seat in my cruiser until I identify you. Am I clear? I don't see why okay. I get off of me. Nope. Daddy, he's grabbing me. Come on. I didn't do nothing. I asked you I to. Like a criminal and I, I asked you to identify. Get off of me. Nah. Get off of me. 
She was pulling away from him or something. She, tried, she refused to identify. I don't know. I mean, okay. But, we so. can come up okay. Okay. Um, so, long story. So, she called a, you guys again today. I thought I saw a call on the board about that. I, yeah. I didn't take it, but so, it just looked familiar. Um, and then it came up that her credit card was stolen and AirPods and money and just, just, and she made a report oh, and uh, got statements from everyone. But during that, she like verbally attacked, made threats towards our staff person, but also um, some transphobic um, comments made directly to one of our youth um, that we have a zero tolerance for. This woman, whose syllabus didn't include an obeying the law lesson, is apparently a teacher, but refuses to cooperate with the cops. Eventually, she only makes the situation worse for herself. Bro, this is crazy. What's your badge number? 281. Bad. I can't wait to talk to the commissioner about you. Okay. Bro, this is crazy. I asked you to identify yourself. You I wasn't even on Daybreak property. I was on the sidewalk, dude. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even on day How I was on the phone outside, not talking to nobody but my phone. They want you trespassed. They want me trespassed because I want my things out of my apartment because they're kicking me out. I just wanted to go get my things. All you had to do was identify yourself. I was on the sidewalk. I wasn't even on their property. How am I being trespassed? Sit down. Please explain to me how I'm being. Sit down now. Please explain to me. You're gonna go to jail. For. For resisting at this point. Resisting what? I'm Sit just down. asking you questions. You can't answer the questions I can, I'm asking you. When you're in the car. Why couldn't you answer them on the sidewalk when I was asking you? Because peacefully? I asked you to identify yourself. And I asked you why Sit if I'm not on their property. Down. I'm asking you peacefully. I don't want to make you get in the car. If you make me get in the car and you harm me, I swear to God, I'm suing. That's fine. You can sue. Dude, I'm just Sit asking down. you why I'm being trespassed. I am literally just asking you why. All I was trying to do was get my things I've out of my apartment. I already that. You were causing a disturbance inside. How was I causing a disturbance? I wasn't even Sit inside. Down. They asked me to step outside and I stepped Sit outside. Down. What are you talking about? Sit down. When, I, when you got here, I was outside by myself. Sit down. I'm confused. You can't just explain to me what's going on. Until you sit down. You literally can't just explain to me what's nope. going on. I've already and I'm not even resisting at this moment. Want to be difficult. I'm not trying to be difficult. I really don't difficult. understand. Just because you perceive it as difficulty doesn't mean I am intentionally trying not to be difficult. You seem to get in the car is arrestable. I don't understand what Do I am being handcuffed for. Do you want to go to jail? I don't jail? understand why I'm being handcuffed. I don't understand why you guys are here. I've I just wanted someone. explained all of that. I just asked for them to get my clothes. I've already explained why you're being detained. No, you didn't. Are you going to sit down? So you're not going to look at the so tape and see what disturbance I caused? I, I can't do anything door. until you get in the car. Sit down, please. Are you in sit down or are we going to go to jail? What am I going to jail for? What am I literally going to jail Disorderly for? Disorderly conduct. I just, mm -hmm. arrest. My, I just want my clothes because I'm about to be homeless and again. And we can, we can work that out, but we're not going to work anything out with you with you refusing to get the I car. was literally calling my right Sit to down. leave. I wasn't even trying to stay here. Sit down. You are handcuffing me and I was calling my right to leave. Sit down. Dude, this is crazy. Sit down. Oh. Sit down. No, I'm not going to jail, dude. No. I don't want to take you to jail. Did I, you just I, cut I, your cam off? I have no desire to take you to care. Then why don't you just talk to me like a civilized person? I wasn't uncivil with you last you're, night. Why are you being uncivil with me today? You refuse we just... to identify yourself, ma'am. Dude, I was not even on their property. I was on the curb waiting for a lift. Are you going to get in? I'm literally waiting on my okay. lift. So I we, don't see we, why we, I need to be identified if I'm leaving we, the premises. We want to go to jail. 
I don't understand. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking you, to you. you Why you can't you just answer? You understand plenty because I've already explained it. No, I'm not times. understanding. I'm telling you that I was on the curb waiting for my lift. I'm not even on their property because the sidewalk is not daybreak property. Sit down. And you came to trespass me on property that I wasn't even on. It doesn't Please matter. explain to me. It doesn't matter. How does it not matter? What you trespassed. How does I that can not matter? You. I understand that. You have that. to identify yourself. But to be trespassed, you have to actually be on the premises. It's not how I it was works. not on the premises. It's not how it works. I wasn't on the premises. Sit down. I wasn't on the premises. Sit down. I only, and I'm the one that called y'all. I had them call y'all so y'all could escort me to get my thing so that it wouldn't you were be a not problem. I'm the only one that called if you called me. I'm Sit the down. reason why they called. I asked I'm him to call. I'm sure you're the reason why we call, why, why we got called. I don't like the tone that you're talking to me I, with. Like I'm a problem matter. or something, dude. It doesn't matter. You are definitely a problem since I got here. How am I a problem? I've I was simply that. asking you questions and you tried to dislocate my shoulder. Sit down. No, dude. And now you're trying to do it again. No, now you want to press the button and like you're being civil with me and you're not being civil with what me. What button? Whatever button you got your finger on. Oh, nobody's pressed the button. Well, please let me I've go. I've asked you many times. To get in the car and, and i don't understand why i to have to, to get in the car if you're not taking me to jail why am i getting in the car at this point you're probably going to go to jail for what disorderly conduct disorderly conduct resisting how? arrest resisting arrest of what i've already explained all i this. haven't committed a crime you've definitely committed a crime what was the crime i committed i've just said that resisting arrest arrest of what what disorderly am i being arrested conduct. for disorderly failure conduct to how identify failure to identify when i wasn't on the premises and i was about to leave it doesn't matter I don't see how that doesn't matter. That matters quite I'm, a bit. I'm trying to help you out. No, you're not. You're not explaining anything to I've me in a calm manner. I've explained many things, many times. No, you haven't. Mm -hmm. You're not actually explaining anything. Are you going to identify yourself? Can you take these cuffs off of me, dude? No. Then what am I identifying myself for? If you can't compromise with me, what am I compromising so with you for? So that you can be trespassed. So that I can be trespassed. I don't even care about being trespassed. I just want my Obviously. clothes. I just want my clothes. Can y'all go get my clothes? I'll comply if I can have my things. What's that? Yeah, I, I, I know. It's literally we, we just me trespassing. And all, I was all that. That's leaving. I had somewhere to be at 6 o'clock. I was leaving. My lift is on the way. I wasn't about to be here. Are you going to identify yourself or are you going to jail? Can I do it with him? No. I can't do it with I'm him. I'm standing right here. I understand you're standing right here. If but I get my notepad out, will you give me your name? And yes. Name? Okay, let me if he can get his hand off of me. Are you alleging that there was force used against you? Yes. Okay. okay. Well, sit down. We, we got to call Sergeant now. Okay. Call him. Sit down. Sit down. Or you're gonna be put in the car. Check, okay? And I'll document more for us. Sit down. Get your feet in. I'm sitting down. No, nope. put you your feet requested. in there. That's all you all requested was for me put to sit down. Put your feet in now. Now I'm requesting you, you to put your feet in. Ow! 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 Put Ow! your feet in there. Ow! Put your Ow! feet in there. Ow! There. After seeing her behavior, believing she's a teacher is tough. When she's loaded into the back of the police car, her kind words would further make you question her profession. Bring it down, God, bring it down. Contend with us, contend with me. You said vengeance is mine, take it. I can't. I can't. My arms hurt, my ribs hurt, my hip is bruised. It's unfair. I don't ever do nothing to nobody. I'm not my business. I'm quiet. I'm respectful. I mean, I say things people like, but I say what needs to be said. And now because of it, I'm in the back of a police car. All of this because I wanted my clothes, because I was told I was homeless after getting off work. Even their ride along God ruin her life from this moment on let everything she touch fall apart god let everything he loves he lose god let his wife let his children be god let his cars break down let his job short his pay let his taxes take all his money let bailey on spot god let her be like lot's wife when she looks back at me let her be struck with ailments all right we're do not speak to me. I do not okay. want to talk to you. I want to talk to the sergeant. Do okay. not speak to me. Sergeant's on their do way. Do not speak to me. 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 Do not speak to me with your little self. You need to feel empowered. Do not speak to me. 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 Hi, I'm Sergeant Staples with Dayton Police. You asked to speak with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's going on? Um, that officer 281 tried to dislocate my shoulder and they yanked me across the back of this thing. He hit my hip and my rib cage on this here. Okay. And he's bruised my arm. Okay. 
And all I wanted to know was why I was being trespassed when I was the one that requested y'all to come. I asked them to have the security guard call y'all so y'all could escort me upstairs to get my things because they think I'm a danger to the building. That's the only reason y'all are here. I was trying to handle things the proper way. Okay. So when they asked you to leave, did you walk out? Or yes, I told them to call y'all so that they could take me upstairs to get my things. Okay. I had a ride on the way. I was on the phone with my father so he could come collect me and my things. And that's when he yanked me up. Okay. Did he ask you to leave before he yanked you up? No, I told him I could leave without getting my things. Okay. Okay. How long have you been staying here at daybreak? <laughs> Two months. Two months? Okay. And my house burned down. Okay. All right. Um, and the only reason why I can't go back inside is because their person robbed me last night. I met Officer 281 last night. He was here when I got robbed. Okay. The only re that's the only reason why I'm being put out because I, I told dude that he needs to give me my stuff back or it won't be good for him. And they considered that a threat. Okay. And the threat was you, me calling the police. That was the threat I meant. I wasn't going to do nothing to that man. I'm a whole school teacher. Okay. I wouldn't harm nobody. You said you're a homeschool teacher? No, I'm a school teacher oh, of special are? ed children. I wouldn't okay. harm nobody intentionally. I wouldn't do nothing to mess up my future. But your police officers had me in the back of the car in handcuffs for no reason. I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have been against giving my name. I just wanted to know why I was giving my name to be trespassed if I wasn't even on their property. I was by the curb. I was waiting on the curb for my father because I know I can't be on property if I'm being trespassed. But again, when an officer is giving you a lawful order, it doesn't matter if you agree with said lawful order or not, you still have to provide that, okay? Because he was here doing an investigation, okay? And All he had to do was tell me because they requested, that if he would have told me what it was for, I would have complied. I have no, my dad is a whole sheriff. I don't have nothing against police officers. Sergeant Staples, can you please move him? He's making my anxiety bad. I can't okay. breathe. Kim, here, can we, can we step out, please? Yeah. Come on, come on. I do have to grab you right here, okay? We're just gonna walk right uh, back there. Back there. The woman was charged with criminal trespassing and resisting arrest. Detective Dale, thanks for sharing your insights on these cases with us. If you want to see more shocking cases like these, check out our other videos. Oh, and of course, be a good sport and hit that like and subscribe button while you're at it. Stay safe out there.